This is something I've been super excited about for a long time. We've got the Autool AS160, I think it is. CT160 fuel injector cleaner, stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and as you can see over here I've got a plethora of old fuel injectors. I've been wanting to get one of these testers for a while. This is the four cylinder one. They've come down in price where they're obtainable now. It's about 250 bucks and this thing will also do the cleaning. Now when I say cleaning it'll pulse the injectors while they're in an ultrasonic bath. It won't do backflow things like that but the question is a, how hard is this thing to set up? And B, does it actually give us good data? Can we use it to test injectors to see that they have proper flow rate, that they're balanced, all those things? And that's more what I'm concerned about is getting a new set of injectors and running them through a test process to make sure that the balance is correct on them. Uh, you know, a lot of times we're paying for that whenever we buy injectors, but can we take their words for it? So. I'm gonna pull all this junk out, get it spread out on the table, and let's get this thing put together and try it out. Okay, we've got a bag of a bunch of different uh, fittings on here, so, so you can run different size injectors, things like that. We'll dig into that. Here's the manifold. One of the plugs is missing on the manifold. I guess you could run one injector at a time. It'll essentially, boop, go right down over there like that. I'm guessing this hose goes on there with that compression fitting. I should probably read the instructions, but I'm not very good at that. Here's our uh, clamp down for it. What does it say? Do not add cleaning agent or other corrosive liquids here. Otherwise the oil may be, oh, it's talking about in this hole here where this rod goes for the injector clamp down. So much foam from the packing materials. On the back side is where our, uh, does that thing ever stop? Oh, you guys can see on the front, derp. Okay, that's good enough. On the back side, we've got our injector tray for cleaning them, and then we've got our leads. So, got kind of a universal lead that should work with most of them, and then we have a, uh, this is a female style, which will plug into most of the injectors that we're used to. But on the same side, we've got a way of converting them over to a male plug. I don't think we'll need those. So we'll go ahead and pull this thing out. Oh, there's a little drain in here. That's nice. There's two drains. There's one for the cleaning agent, one for the testing agent. And so there's a lot of different stuff on the internet out there. Oh, here's the plug for what you should use. And I'll be honest, to keep it safe, I'm going to just use blue windshield washer fluid. I'm not worried about specific gravity filling these up to get an accurate reading on these. Theoretically, there is fluid out there that has a specific gravity that's very close to gasoline that shouldn't have the same flash point that would be better to use on that. Now, as far as the cleaning side of it, I've read all kinds of stuff. Uh, the last thing I read was simple green. Just use some simple green. And I think we can just pour in our fluid there. So probably should install our valves. Let's look at the instructions. Eh, instructions are worthless. Basically, we'll put these two valves in the back uh, for the cleaning fluid and for our testing fluid. We've got a sight gauge on the side here. Let me rotate it so you can see. Got a side gauge on the side, but we want to go ahead and get our valves in first. Okay, we've got our block off valves back here. On the side, power switch, power socket, heating switch, and cleaning switch. So, seems fairly straightforward. Got pressure, oh, okay. So, up front, we got our pressure knob here so we can set our pressure 
pulse width and working injection time. Then we got play, pause, stop, fuel injector, cleaner, and tester, ultrasonic, idle speed, medium speed test, high speed test. So there's a bunch of different things that we can go through on the function side. Let's, I guess. What does this do? I better read the instructions. Oil drain handle. I wonder if that's what they're calling the testing fluid. We'll find out. Let's just pour some in, see what happens. Oops, overfilled. Oh, yep, there it goes. So we'll fill this thing up until we get over to the max level on the side here. Should probably be enough for now. Now we've got this top plate here that drops down and that gives you kind of a positive stop for the injectors to go in. They sit down in there like so. I've got these old uh, 850s that I want to test out. So we need to find the ejector adapters that are going to fit with them. Stupid camera keeps on shutting off, but I'm running these adapters in with these O-rings. Seems like you can run them down finger tight. They're probably not going to leak much. We'll find out the hard way though. Then we've got our compression fitting for our hose on the back here. Whoop. Run that over the hose. See if we can get that on there without heating it up. May have to put a little, oh, yep, it went on. Okay, about to say, may have to grab the lighter. That nut started, yep, okay. Snug that down. Oh, there's a better setting, there's a better fitting adapter. Let's try those. Hopefully that's tight enough. We'll find out very shortly. <laughs> so we'll take our plugs here. Shouldn't matter which one goes where. It's gonna be pulsing them all the same. There we go. And if you have a hard time getting it plugged in, just flip it over. Oh man, this is exciting. Okay. Let's get this thing powered up. Get in close, take a look here. Idle speed test. And that's it, 45 PSI, we can dial that up. There, we're about 50. Count down from a minute with the two pulse width on there. Man, this is cool. Okay, and that's pretty good. We're about 30 milliliters there, 29, 30. 29 and a half maybe. So these are pretty close. These injectors, I don't know what they're off of. I've had them forever. High spray volume. Okay, this one's flowing a little bit more than the rest. I thought that one was low, but it matches up. These two flow a little bit more. Let's try an idle spray volume test. What if we up the pulse with? Nope, not on these. 
Definitely getting more fluid out of this injector than the rest. Let's go ahead and drain them off. So it's kind of crazy. You can see whenever the injectors lose control from a low pulse width. So let me go ahead and drain this. I've been dialing the pulse width down. We're at an idle speed test. 1.5 milliseconds. May or may not struggle. Seems that all of them are shooting pretty well here. You'll have to excuse the band practicing behind me. Let's try 1.4. Doing all right. Let's go down to 1.2. Oh, 1.2. Failed. 1.3. Failed. So these injectors are gonna want at least 1.4 and I'll tell you, that some of them have failed at 1.4. 1.5 seems to be where they become consistent. Tell you what, these, <laughs> these two in the middle have good spray patterns. This, these two on the outside don't have good spray patterns. And they're a couple uh, milliliters lower flow. So these two injectors could probably stand to be cleaned and re-ran. So I'm gonna set the cleaning up on here and give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, I'm just using this ultrasonic cleaning solution I picked up off of Amazon. These two injectors are the slow flowing ones, or the lower flowing ones. These two are the high ones, so let's come around to the front here. Let's put this thing into ultrasonic cleaning. Got 10 minutes. Uh, you know what? I don't have the heating switch on. So this one is vibrating the bath, but this is gonna pulse the injectors while they're in there. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just barely pulsing those. Can adjust the pulse width. It's gonna be at 30 milliseconds. Probably should have left the heat on, turn the heat on earlier, give the bath a chance to warm up. So I'm gonna run it through a couple clean cycles and then we'll retest them and see if they're flowing closer. Okay, I've got a jazz concert going on behind me. Probably get me demonetized, but I ran these things through two cleaning cycles and the heater actually heats up pretty quick on this. Uh, my bigger unit, which has a lot more volume, takes a lot longer, but let's go ahead and run an accelerating test on here and see if these balanced out. Remember, these two outer units were the ones that were flowing low before cleaning. This is kind of a cool test because it ramps up. But you gotta remember, we're applying the same pulse width to all of these, so they should be equal. You see, there's a little uh, cleaning fluid left in the injectors. Probably should have rinsed them out beforehand. Ooh. Well, I don't know how accurate this is because of the cleaning fluid. Note to self, <laughs> we got too much foam. I may have just ruined my uh, windshield washer fluid. <laughs> it's hard to tell from looking at the spray pattern whether or not there's any improvement. Seems to have got most of the clean fluid flushed out though. Let's see what our results are after this test.
Okay, so this first injector is still low. These two are pretty much the same. This one's still low. I don't know the cleaning made a difference. It may just be that much air in these injectors. This is why we'd want to uh, test this out. I wonder what a leakage test is. We're just putting pressure to them without pulsing them to see if they leak. Let's crank the pressure up. There, we're at 80 PSI. Okay. High spray volume test. Yeah, I probably wouldn't run these injectors in anything that I was trying to dial performance in. There's too much disparity between the four, even after cleaning them twice. Uh, and as I said, it may just be that this injector doesn't have the throughput. HPI, I'm not sure who that is. High performance injector or something. This, I think this is a set that somebody set me, sent me to test out. Pretty cool overall. So that's the Autel CT160 fuel injector tester slash cleaner. I'm gonna put it through some more paces. If you guys would like some more feedback or more videos on it, let me know down in the comments uh, because I've got plenty of injectors. Uh, I've got other people that are wanting me to test their injectors. I wanna test some new injectors. I'm gonna pull the old injectors off of the Smoke Monster and run those through and see I'll run those on the same test, all eight of them, to see what the balance is on those. And I apologize about the live band playing next door. Did not expect that to happen today, but I've just been kind of recording some videos I need to get caught up on. But that's it for now. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuning.